Welcome to Northwest Area Command, uh, first Tuesday, and Happy New Year, because this is the first Tuesday of the year. Um, I am not Captain Larkin, obviously, uh, no, she's much uh, more beautiful than I am. Uh, I'm her assistant, Rick Given, I'm the administrative lieutenant, uh, and so I'll be hosting this first Tuesday. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea from uh, 2018 and where we are. So 2018, thankfully, we're down 9% in violent crime valley-wide. Yes. As far as robberies, we were down 21% and aggravated assaults down 16%. So that's a, that's a credit to our partnership and the, and the officers working. Why burglary this part of the month? Well, we were actually up in burglaries in 2018. Um, the other thing that we were up in is stolen firearms. Uh, we're having a real big issue with um, people targeting houses and uh, vehicles for firearms. Uh, if you look, uh, if you look at one of our hot maps and how it shows where the firearms are being stolen, Northwest Area Command leads in that category. So we want to try to educate the public, uh, educate our officers on how to combat that. The problem is burglaries. Uh, no one just leaves their firearms around. Uh, someone breaks in and steals them. So we we don't have a fire stolen firearms problem. We have a burglary problem. So uh, if you went by the vendor's booth, you may have uh, come across Maureen Wilson. She works with Sonatrol. Uh, Sonatrol, if you don't know, is an alarm company that um, you can actually hear the people breaking in. Uh, she's the perfect example of building great relationships and forging strong community bonds with law enforcement. We're very fortunate to have you. Jordan Weirs, on behalf of members of Northwest Area Command, we would like to express our appreciation for you and your staff's efforts on helping our community. Uh, Crime Prevention Specialist Randy Klonowski is being recognized as LVMPD Employee of January 2019. Thank you for your hard work and dedication in striving to make this a crime-free community. Sergeant Hendricks, you are committed for your hard work and tenacity in guiding your squad to combat uh, violent crime and actively pursuing wanted suspects. You are being recognized as the Northwest Area Command LVMPD Employee of February 2019. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. So what is tonight about? Tonight's really about helping you guys to help yourselves before the criminals help themselves to your belongings and violate your privacy. Uh, like the lieutenant said, we have all these vendors that came tonight to show you that there are some products out there that can assist you. Uh, we no longer can live in the day and age where we are in denial and say, oh, it'll never happen to me. Because if it hasn't already, maybe it's happened to a friend, a neighbor, and someday it may happen to you. Technology has come a great way. It's come down in cost where there's a lot of things that you can do to help uh, protect yourselves that we're going to go through during the presentation. That is something that everybody in this room can do. And you can go to any home improvement store, buy a bag of three to four inch length screws for under 10 bucks and change it out. By doing that alone, you'll strengthen your door frame up to three to five times. But sometimes they'll go around to the back. And if you have a sliding patio door, those are vulnerable as well. So we recommend... Uh, adding secondary locks to those as well. There's a variety out there. There's a trolley bar, there's the tension model in there. You can use a broomstick in that sliding track, uh, but you wanna put a secondary lock in there, all right? So when it comes to windows, just like the doors, we recommend having secondary locks on all your windows. Second option is gonna be security screens. They look a lot like the regular screens that you have on your window. However, they're made of different layers of mesh steel. And then the, the last option for your glass is gonna be security film. It's much like the tint on your auto windows. It's a layer of a security film that goes on the inside of your windows. However, it's interwoven with layers of security. The reason I really like the security film is if you have an alarm system and you have glass breakage sensors, that first whack of that glass is gonna set up your glass breakage sensors and that starts the clock ticking in the bad guy's head. Security is like layers. Who doesn't like chocolate cake? And the more layers you have in a chocolate cake, the better it tastes, okay? Home security is the same way, layering that type of security. Also, know your neighbors. Know your neighbors because if you have trusted neighbors, they will look out for you. They will keep an eye on your house when you're not around. Uh, Channel 5 News recently, a couple years ago, they interviewed a burglar in prison and they said, hey, you know, what prevents you from going into certain no homes or neighborhoods? And this one burglar actually said that neighborhood unity is the key. People aren't afraid of an alarm system, but they're afraid of somebody who called 911. And what he's talking about there is neighborhood watch. 
We're here to talk about residential burglaries, but we find that there's a lot of auto burglaries as well, okay? And a lot of our guns are stolen out of uh, burglaries of vehicles. So we wanna make sure that, hey, if you're gonna drive it, make sure you protect it, okay? Use the lock, take, hide principles, which is to lock your car, take your keys, hide your belongings, don't leave anything visible in there that may invite somebody in there, and please do not ever leave a firearm unsecured in your vehicle, okay? It happens more than you think. Uh, so just uh, as a reminder, March 5th, is our next first Tuesday. Uh, Randy actually pushes it out on our social media. Please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Nextdoor. Thank you, have a safe night. Thank you.